I instantly feel like a much cooler human being. Hello one and all, I'm Sam from Seen Through Glass and I've teamed up with Shell V-Power Nitro Plus to find others like me who with their friends are obsessed with vehicles. Today we're in the United States of America to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna go ride out with an all-female biker crew called the Hot Rides. I really want to learn how you got into motorbikes. Where did it all start for you? Just riding on the back of one and realizing that I'm just this small entity in the world. I hopped on a motorcycle, learned, and from there on, I've never ridden on the back. Oh my god! <laughs> I know. This is actually my first bike, That's a cool. 1963 Vespa GL. Eventually, it turned into a 1973 Yamaha. RD350. You always like to go vintage? Yeah, it's always vintage. Just the fact that there's a sentimental value to me. This one right here is a BSA Water Department bike. Okay. This one is a 67 Triumph T100. So do you like that it's quite sort of raw and, and basic compared to the modern bikes? I like that feeling, yeah. the feeling of one, where the bike is telling me what to do. You know, I'm winding it out, high RPMs kind of thing versus the speedometer telling you what yeah, to do. Yeah, I can yeah, feel yeah, it, yeah. you know? That's why I really love these bikes, especially old pre-77 yeah. motorcycles. Tell us about Hot Rides a bit more. How it started was Facebook, my best friend and ex-roommate, her name is Katie Sue. She was like, hey, Leah, should it be uh, something where we invite boys and girls? And I'm like, no, let's just do girls for now, like, you know, and let's just get hollered at for a little bit. It's <laughs> totally joking. Between the two of us, that we, we actually knew a lot of girls that were riding. That was, you know, eight years ago when there was not a lot of women riding. Right, let's go meet the other girls from Hot Rides. I feel like I'm wearing more denim than Justin Timberlake at a NSYNC concert. It may look like I'm crying, but it's the wind, I promise. Okay. <laughs> Are these friends for life now, uh, you know, away from biking, do you guys hang out? Do you guys talk? Oh yeah, they came yeah. to my wedding. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's been this amazing journey of, you know, discovering things that I can do that, you know, I didn't know I could do before. Even when I was riding a scooter, which I did for many years, I was always like, well, in my mind, I'm a motorcycle chick, but I'm just a lame scooter chick. So I was, just, <laughs> I was afraid of it. So the process of learning was really cool because you get to demystify something that's like, belongs to someone else, you know what I mean? Do you have any kind of dream rides? The annual, like, Normandy ride. Most of them are, like, World War II enthusiasts, but they go through the hills of Normandy. I was lucky enough to go to Morocco recently. We uh, encountered this huge group of people on these adventure touring bikes, and they were doing the whole, like, length of the country and back, and so I think that would be amazing. And Leo, I guess it's, uh, you know, having girls like Kateri come and join groups like this where you get to meet different people. Yeah, that's what Hot Rides is to me, is it just kind of opened up a, a lot more relationships that I hold dear. Great to meet you. Yeah, thank you so here. much. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Thank you. No, yeah, thank you for having me. me. Sure. Yeah. <laughs>